What are conditions like there? Well, uh, we're hearing about gusts of winds up to 137 kilometers an hour. You can see it's kind of blowing around. There's a great amount of, of rain, of course, coming down. Uh, so far, it sounds like the storm isn't as powerful as was feared. It got a signal eight warning coming from the Hong Kong Observatory. The fear was that it would go all the way up to 10. Residents in and around the Macedonian capital Skopje woke up to a devastating sight. The full damage of the torrential rains evident in the daylight. The worst hit places were in the northern suburbs. There people wondered if they would ever make it out alive. Standing in silence, looking over the wreckage that was once their home, Hurricane Earl has swept through these villages. Hillsides weakened by heavy rain have plunged into valleys. The buildings below lie swamped in mud. Several states in Mexico have been affected. Veracruz is one of the worst hit. Rivers are swollen. Homes have collapsed. Most of those who died were in the neighboring state of Puebla. As the state's governor was shown the devastation, he said dog units were still trying to find missing people. They gathered to pay their final respects to a former colleague and friend, but instead they became victims of a suicide attack. Scores of lawyers were accompanying the body of the president of the Baluchistan's Bar Association, Bilal Anwar Kasi, from the government-run civil hospital in Quetta when the bomb went off at the entrance. It's not the first time the hospital has been hit. There's been violence from competing groups in the region which borders Afghanistan and Iran. Planes and helicopters have been performing airdrops all day in hopes of getting a handle on the pilot fire. Thousands of homes are under evacuation alerts. The fire is surging in the mountains of San Bernardino National Forest near Hesperia. Buildings go up in flames as fire races through bone dry brush near Devor, devouring thousands of 5,500 acres in hours. The aerial attack is underway, but the blue cut fire shows no signs of slowing down anytime soon. Now, in other news, scientists at NASA have revealed that July was the hottest month on record ever. They say it's down to a combination of man made climate change and the effects of El Nino. Osi Young has the details. This July was the world's hottest month in recorded history. According to NASA, July 2016 was 0.84 degrees Celsius hotter than the 1951 to 1980 global average, taking into account both the sea surface temperature and air temperature on land. That's 0.11 degrees above the previous record set in July 2011 and July 2015, which had been tied for the hottest month. Blue Cut Wildfire is burning just 60 miles east of Los Angeles and has forced tens of thousands of people to evacuate. The fire spread at a terrifyingly fast speed, growing to a dangerous size in just a matter of hours. So far, 300 homes have been destroyed this week since the fire started, but now it appears that the fire is at least 50% contained. This means that many of the people who had been initially evacuated due to the blaze are being allowed to return home. Southern California has been plagued by wildfires all summer thanks to the extreme drought conditions the area faces.
If you are in the mainland of Japan, within the next 24 hours, Honshu, uh, the mainland of Japan, and specifically near Tokyo, uh, this tropical storm, Mindule, has the potential uh, to cause quite a few concerns. And I'll break it down uh, what I'm thinking here in the next uh, minute or so. But I just want to show you the latest satellite imagery from this area. It's uh, still a few hundred kilometers just to the south of the mainland. Uh, 100 kilometer per hour sustained winds right near the center of circulation, which is there. Gusts even higher than that, 130 kilometers per hour. We do anticipate this to slowly start to strengthen, but look at what's in the path of this storm. Uh, we have a very highly populated and densely populated part of the world being Tokyo. According to Reuters, this week hundreds of thousands of dead fish have washed up in a New Jersey creek. The peanut bunker fish were discovered in Wackack Creek in the borough of Kensingburg and are traditionally a saltwater fish, prompting the question of how did fish wind up in a freshwater creek in the first place? These fish smell really, really terrible. Don't come over here if you are you. It smells really terrible. We're in Keensburg, uh, Monmouth County, and we're addressing a, a large fish kill uh, along the bay uh, from bait fish that have washed up due to uh, low oxygen levels in the, in the water. A hurricane warning is now in effect for the Big Island as Hurricane Madeline makes its way toward our state. That means hurricane conditions are expected within the next 36 hours. Right now, Madeline is a Category 2 storm and is 315 miles from Hilo, carrying maximum sustained winds of 110 miles per hour. But it is weakening just a bit.